Like, look how tiny they are. Just little itty bitty guys. And he squishes head. Little shmees. Shmeek squish, 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 squish. <laughs> Keep his nose. <laughs> What's up, Voyagers? Welcome to another episode. I'm Aaron. I'm Hayden, and we're the Vegan Voyagers. In 2016, we sold off most of our possessions in order to buy an RV and travel the country so that we could see all 50 states and all the national parks. We're two years in, and right now we're in South Dakota in the Rapid City area. And our first stop in this area was going to be a wild horse sanctuary. In fact, we're here now, as you can see behind us. But as we pulled in, we continued to see signs. Oh, Hi. there's horses right behind us. <laughs> we kept seeing signs that said foals, fowls? Foals. Foals for sale. And then the signs continued saying, the sale of foals keeps our wild horses free. And you know, when we learned that this was a sanctuary, we were really excited, but we have a really big issue with the sale of animals in general, but it, it just leads to exploitation and breeding. So. It's counterintuitive. They're not a sanctuary if they're breeding horses. So it's really unfortunate because we were pretty stoked to come here. Um, as you can see, there's just like hundreds of horses behind us. Um, and you know, anywhere I looked on their website to see if anything like this was going to come up because not all sanctuaries. Hi. Hi. Look your pretty eyes. Hi. Sweet thing. Hi. <laughs> it's too bad. I don't know. We just we don't feel right about it. We don't want to highlight the sanctuary. We will say it's the Black Hills Wild Sanctuary, Wild Horse Sanctuary. Um, and it's about an hour and a half south of Rapid City. Um, and it's just really unfortunate. I looked on their website to see if anything like this was gonna come up and I didn't see anything. It looked like they pay, people pay a hefty price to come and do a tour here. They were gonna give us a complimentary tour in exchange for a video. And I just, I don't feel comfortable putting our name behind this. You know, if they're breeding horses and they're selling them, then they're not a sanctuary. That's the end of the story. Well, the good news is, is we have backup plans. So. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff to do here. So we have hiking gear and we can go see Mount Rushmore. Now we can just wing it. Yeah. So let's go see what we find. So to just clear up one last thing about the wild horse sanctuary, they're not actively breeding horses, but they are letting them breed on their own. And then they're stealing their babies and selling them for a profit in order to help like maintain the sanctuary. So either way, we're not into it. So instead we decided to come up to Wind Cave National Park, which is our 17th national park. I couldn't remember. So. I think it's 17th. <laughs> 17 and um there's actually so much to do in this area there's another national park there's badlands national park here we're gonna go to mount rushmore later today or and custer, state, custer park. state park there's just a ton of stuff a bunch of wildlife we've already seen bison and prairie dogs driving in here so and, and antelope but from afar so we didn't quite catch them on camera um and it turns out there's the one of the largest cave systems in the world here had no idea so <laughs> makes sense it's called wind cave yeah. national park so we're gonna go in and do a cave tour all right that was pretty cool yeah i mean the box work was really neat structure uh it was interesting to see how you could see through some of it some at some points because it was so thin uh the so, one go ahead it's the one of the longest and oldest cave systems in the world and they've only estimated that they've discovered about five percent of what is down here, which is interesting. And then box work is specific to this area and it's like the type of formations on the walls. Um, there's no stalactites or stalagmites because it's a very dry cave and all the prairie land absorbs the water. So it's not dripping through, is, which is what forms those uh, formations in other caves. So there's none of those. There's a lot of stairs. Uh, there's some low areas. I will say, and this has happened to both uh, both the National Park cave tours we had, 
each time there's always been this like, ooh, ah moment. And they give such a short amount of time that half the group doesn't even get to see it. Yeah, there's happened too to many us, people. Happened to us at Mammoth National Cave where they were in this giant room that everybody was like, this is the photo. And by the time we even got into the room, they shut the lights off. Yeah. Happened here we where like, at the cave popcorn and the frost whatever and they were like Every, you have two minutes which you and know, nobody the, moved they all just stood in front of it and didn't let anybody go it's a tour of 40 people that means everybody has three seconds to look at it and yeah so we never even got to see it and it's unfortunate because it's like you pay for this tour they don't charge entrance to the cave, to the park which they should charge entrance to the park charge more for the cave tours and don't put as 40 people on a cave tour you know like if you can't give everybody the same experience then it's not a good tour. Ranger Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> so too many people, there were children, but the, some of them cried, so it made up for it. <laughs> and uh, so now we're gonna drive through the park a little bit. Um, obviously we're gonna see some more buffalo and some prairie dogs, maybe some antelope. Hope so. And um, then we're gonna head north through Custer State Park. So that's the next stop. We drove into Custer State Park, but it's 20 bucks to get in to do a driving loop. So we decided not to do that. So we're still technically driving through it. And we saw antelope. We're heading to Mount Rushmore now. This state this Custer State Park is gorgeous. Like it's beautiful here. It would be nice to like hike or something. We just are kind of going with whatever the day brings us because we didn't have a real plan. So I don't know anything really about Mount Rushmore. Who's on there? Well, I know George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Abraham Lincoln are three of them. I'm pretty sure it's Theodore Roosevelt is the fourth, but I'm not certain. Which would make sense because he's kind of like the reason why all these, you know, he established Wind Cave National Park and Theodore Roosevelt National Park, which we went to in North Dakota. here at Mount Rushmore right there <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done watching the little informational video and it was cool because I knew that dynamite was used in a, a lot of the construction of this but I didn't realize that 90% of it was carved using dynamite and that's pretty incredible when you start to think about all the curves you know around the lips the nose the eyes and just the fact that they were able to get some of the finer details that they were. Now granted, they came in with a, a bit and smoothed it all out, but still, like you think back almost 100 years ago that they had the ingenuity for that. It's, it's incredible. Get ready for some fun facts. <laughs> so it is Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln. That was right. 
why these presidents were chosen specifically. George Washington because he was the first president. Um, Thomas Jefferson due to expansion with the Louisiana Purchase. Theodore Roosevelt for his development. P Panama Canal, trust buster and conservation. I don't know what that means. Well, conservation, because he... What is a trust buster? I don't know. But obviously conservation makes sense, because we just were at Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and he helped to establish the Wind Cave National Park and this whole Badlands area that we're in. And preservation uh, is Abraham Lincoln. Saved the Union during the Civil War. So it's pretty cool. Another fun fact, each face is 60 feet tall. Their eyes are 11 feet wide each. The mouths are 18 feet wide. And all of the noses are 20 feet, except for Washington's is 21 feet. Good old long nose George. Yeah. So, oh, and the sculptor is Borglum. Gutsum. Gutsum Borglum. I'm a little shocked that it's so small. I just like expected it to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everybody zooms in in their photos, you know, so. Like, look how tiny they are. Little itty bitty guys. And squish his head. Little shmees. Shmee squish, 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 squish. <laughs> Keep his nose. <laughs> anyway. It's kind of cool though. Yeah. The whole I thing's kind of cool. You know, it's something you have to see. It's been a neat day. And it's $10 to park. Your National Park Pass does not get you anything. So nah. thanks for that, National Monument. Doesn't even give you a high five. Wow, uh, we just got here to Crazy Horse uh, National Monument and they want $24 for us to come in and see it. So, I mean, it would have been cool, but we were able to see it from the road and got it on camera. So, I'm not going to pay 24 bucks after we just got a screaming deal to pay 10 bucks to see four giant heads. So, all right. That's, uh, we're gonna go get some food now. So I got the tofu with vegetables and a garlic sauce, and it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try a piece of tofu. Mm. The garlic's really nice. Tofu's good. I'm really excited to just pound all this food into my belly. I got the Kung Pao tofu. That's really good. There's a little heat, not a ton of heat. So we've been pretty bad about doing outros, but we had a really good time exploring the day, even though it started off a little shaky. And um, we're really looking forward to the next video, which is Badlands National Park. So stay tuned. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you like what we're doing, hit that like button. Make sure you tap that bell icon so you get a notification every time we release a new video. That's all. See we'll see you next time. Bye. No bad thing. That's, That's what we need. Class C. Yeah. It's like what we're gonna end up with. Yeah, let's trade in. Let's do it. Let's trade it all. We have too many animals. <laughs> If anybody I wants really, five cats and a dog, they're up for grabs. I really don't want to renovate another RV right now, too. Oh, because you know we're renovating. I know. <laughs> we're not going to just live in shit brown land for another five years. I'm not ready for that. No. All right. I'm, I'm still scarred after last year. Okay.